Ukrainian troops had advanced 16 to 19 kilometers in the directions of Berdyansk and Melitopol. American analysts believe that Ukrainian forces have made somewhat bigger advances along two major lines of attack over the past few months. That's according to the New York Times. Military analysts said Ukrainian troops had advanced 10 to 12 miles or 16 to 19 kilometers along two main lines of attack in Kyiv's drive to reach the southern coast and sever Russian supply lines. In the ground war, the Ukrainians are advancing south along two principal lines of attack. Through the eastern village of Staromayorsk toward the Russian-occupied city of Berdyansk, a port on the Sea of Azov, and farther west toward the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol, a vital transportation hub near the coast. The amount of territory seized, 10 to 12 miles on both vectors of attack, while relatively small, is important in that it is compelling Moscow to divert forces from other parts of the front line, military analysts say, the article reads. The Institute for the Study of War called the advances tactically significant, saying Moscow's redeployment would most likely further weaken Russian defense lines in aggregate, creating opportunities for any Ukrainian breakthrough to be potentially decisive. In the Berdyansk sector, Ukraine has consolidated gains around the ruined village of Staromayorsk, which it recaptured in late July and appears to be pushing toward the Russian stronghold of Urozane, according to the Ukrainian military and military analysts. At the same time, Russian forces are mounting their own offensive operations in northeastern Ukraine around the city of Kupiansk. By forcing Ukraine to defend there, military analysts say Russia is most likely trying to draw Ukrainian forces from other areas where they are on the offensive. According to the article, Ukraine has devoted thousands of soldiers, including some of its most experienced and battle-hardened marines and armor, to the campaign drive south down the Mokri Yali River Valley. If they can manage to push through or around Urozane, that will put them within 50 miles or 80 kilometers of the two major port cities of Berdyansk and Mariupol on the Sea of Azov. And with each mile they advance, the Ukrainian forces put more pressure on the Russian supply lines, the New York Times wrote.